so I am just leaving work and it is maybe 5 20 p.m. this is how dark it is already and I'm so stressed so I am going to stop over at Trader Joe's and see what is up over there this guy is trying to enter where he's not supposed to all these Uber drivers but yeah I will take you guys with me and we'll see what we can get tonight we are approaching West Lake Village. It is a bunch of apartments and right smack in the middle is Kitty Mall after Kitty Mall and the West Lake, I think it's called Mall. This used to be a ghost town. Literally, my uncle used to have a doctor. I think there's still a medical office building somewhere behind Home Depot, which you're about to see, but I'm not sure about that. But I remember when I first got here, we took our, our uncle, well, my uncle, uh, to one of his appointments here and this used to be a ghost town like literally no cars in here whatsoever it used to be a little ghetto even but now there's like restaurant after restaurant after grocery store after coffee shop and bake shop and all these wonderful lights that are really really presentable you know and it's pretty popular actually which kind of increases the value of the apartments around here oh by the way there's also a yoga place, there's a boba place, there are craft stores, pet stores, there are, there's everything at Westlake actually. This is not a sponsored video, but I'm taking you guys because this is where my favorite store is, Trader Joe's. So we're gonna go see what they have inside to prepare for the holidays. So let me find some parking first, if we can even find parking. Ugh. This is the only problem here. Since it's so popular now, there's really no parking. Like you probably have to wait and go around like a couple of times just to get good parking. And there's good parking right here actually. Let's just hope that this guy can get out and I'm not hitting anyone behind me. But sometimes patience you know that virtue is, 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 is a good thing to have sometimes if you're patient enough to drive slow uh, you'll spot people that are literally about to back up and leave so lucky me tonight so let's go inside and see what they have in there One of the flowers I ended up getting it's not really a lot but I just want something festive for this coming week so I thought I'd just buy some flowers so that is today of Joss. And I'm happy we got some flowers. It's about to look festive at home. And really, the only thing that kind of inspired me to make some flowers is the holidays. As soon as daylight saving time kicked in, fall back kicked in, I was just in the season of fall. And it's just so much cooler and you can smell it in the air. Earlier, I passed by the hallway at work and it just smelled like pine cones. It's almost like, who brought the Christmas tree? And I checked and there was no Christmas tree, so it could just be someone. Someone who came to the office, just smelled like pine cone, but it just reminds me of Christmas and the holidays and first, Thanksgiving. So I grew up in the Philippines, fun fact. I'm sure you guys already know, but I grew up in the Philippines and we never really celebrated Thanksgiving um, like the Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, my parents just used to have Thanksgiving parties for whenever good things happen, but not really specifically during, you know, November. So it was just never a thing. But since I grew up also with a garden, it wasn't a big garden, but my mother had some roses. There were spray roses. Um, although this time I didn't purchase roses, but the, the routine picking of flowers and putting it up at an altar or at home, decorating your home with some fresh flowers had always been, you know, a part of my life growing up. And it, it stopped a couple years back. And I just kind of feel like it's comforting. Having fresh flowers just perk you up. I don't usually purchase real roses for myself. I would use them as decorations. I have used them for some events in the past for my dad's birthday or whatnot. But um, for myself, I really don't purchase roses. I could use some spray roses here and there because they don't really have that strong scent. But uh, usually I just purchase flowers that don't have scents. Um, or I think I bought eucalyptus leaves, so I'm gonna be smelling eucalyptus leaves, but eucalyptus is very, uh, what's it called? Piney. <laughs> ah, sorry, Meg, 
we're gonna drive home and then we're gonna we're gonna see how I can put together these flowers that I just purchased. I don't even know how I'm gonna put it together if I should use my fish bowl little bowl bowl as a vase or my regular vase or my big vase. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But nonetheless we're gonna look for a vase at home and try to put it together. So let's go home guys. hard to find parking in my neighborhood but I think we got lucky today oh yeah we got lucky so this is parking and I am going to park my car right here which is just a block away from my house so I will see you inside the house this is Mix eucalyptus this one is Mix greens bunches this one is ilex berries and then I think these are, this is Dianthus Minis, and this one is Hydrangea. What is that called? It's Carnations. <laughs> this one is Carnations. But that's what I usually get. It's the dark Belgian chocolate covered almonds. And my very favorite, <laughs> growing up on the islands, you just need some island mangoes sometimes, close to press it. So I'm just taking them apart and cutting them open. So if you do have pets, it might be best to do this outside if there's an option to do it outside. But I don't have that option. So usually when you buy a bunch of flowers, it also comes with its own food. So you want to take care of that, keep it to the side for when you do need it and repeat the process until you're done with all of them. And if you can see these, I'm gonna put tape so you can kind of make a grid uh, instead of buying a block, which is usually, uh, it's just a waste, like buying a block, soaking it, just so there's water, and then you can't reuse it, you know what I mean? So at least if there are tape, it can kind of just position it that way, and then you can, hopefully they'll stand and stay upright. Uh, I don't have the floral tape that they want you to buy, but I do have a lot of these medical tapes, um, that belong to my dad. So I'm gonna use these because, I'm gonna use them up because they're just so convenient and you don't even probably, probably won't even need scissors to use them. So, and plus on top of that, you can kind of cut it in half just by doing so. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it my grid. But here, let me show you. So my grid looks kind of like this. It's kind of horrible. But hey, this is my first try at it and we're gonna see if it actually works. So they say to lay your greenery first, and these will just go a little sparingly. Like this, it is very, very uh, pink, but then when they open up, they're a little bit more orangey. hard to do the spin by myself here. Kona, what do you think? So this is my fall bouquet. I think it needs a little bit more flowers, but Happy fall, y'all. 